Hi folks, welcome back. This is Janet Adams and I'm here with Bryn Diaz and Frankie. Can we see Frankie okay? Uh -huh. Excellent. We have not fed Frankie yet, so he is definitely hungry. We wanted to make sure that he was up for some a video. There you go, buddy. You want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> Can you look that way? Frank. Hi, Frank. <laughs> Good boy, Frank. Um, <laughs> and I want to welcome you back to our channel. First off, I apologize for the little hiatus. My new role as a mortgage underwriting manager has been challenging at best and um a bit overwhelming and exhausting i have a feeling that i will love the new position when we finally get caught up but it has been anywhere from 12 to 16 hour days and is right now killing me but i'm hanging in there and i have missed all of you and thank you so much to those of you that have reached out uh, you have no idea how much it means to me and to us. And it's it's just really cool that we have that kind of support and people are saying like, hey, where are the videos? Big shout out to Irene and to Jamie. Um, and again, thanks to everyone. And so with that said, two quick things that I wanna mention. One is I am wearing my earrings, my pearl earrings that I got from Shady NY, Marilyn and I absolutely love them. I recently won these in one of her, um, her YouTube sales and I'm very excited about them. I think they're really, really cool. And then also, I don't know if you guys noticed my new specs. These I got in one of the designer boxes, <laughs> uh, in one of the designer boxes and they are Dolce & Gabbana and I tried them on and they were a pretty significant prescription. I do believe that they are vintage and I was on the fence. I felt like they were a little small for my face, but they were so comfortable. And so far I am loving them. So hopefully you guys like them too because you will likely be seeing more of them. And Frankie is clearly in rare form and thinks that, um, that this is dinner time and it's not quite dinner time yet, but we will humor him. So I wanted to finally open, first off, a huge apology to Jamie, AKA the bag lady. And this video is a huge shout out to her. She had done some mystery boxes of some of her old clothes and I will put the link, am I doing the right way? I think so. I will, well, I guess down in the description, <laughs> not there. This is the subscribe button, which I would like for you to also do, uh, as well as like my video, hopefully, and um, leave me a comment on what you think. But down in the description, I will link Jamie's channel, AKA The Bag Lady. She is one of the first resellers that I really started to subscribe to and watch pretty religiously and really enjoyed buying things from her, from her mystery boxes and different things that she would pick up. And we have since become really, really great friends. And I value that friendship so, so much, more than you know, Jamie. So she decided that she was going to do some mystery boxes and post for resellers online of some of her old clothing. So these are plus size clothing. She has recently undergone surgery and um, is losing a ton of weight. I'm so, so proud of you. And she just mentally was just struggling to list some of her old clothes. I can totally understand that stuff that was still in really good shape but she just had that kind of mental block about it because they were, I believe, some of her nicer pieces, some of her favorite pieces. And so she decided to do some mystery boxes and put them on her Poshmark uh, website or her Poshmark closet. So I told her that I would buy one. I ended up buying three. <laughs> so I will open them up for you. This one I wanted to start with though because this was just the it was a seven piece plus size mystery box and I believe that it was $25 so it was a great deal. I'm hoping that some of this stuff I may be able to wear, maybe Bryn, or that we'll be able to resell and so we'll see. Um, so without further ado, Jamie, thank you, thank you for offering these to me and I can't wait to see what we have inside. 
They have been at my house for probably, she shipped them the very next day. She was so excited for me to get them and wanted me to open them on camera so that she could link uh, on her channel. And of course, then they have proceeded to sit here for the better part of a week and a half or so and waiting for me to have a free spare moment to open them. So without further ado, let's see what we've got. So, of course, packaged beautifully in true Jamie fashion. And let's see, reusable tissue, I love that. Let's see what's in here. So first off, I have a Karen Scott Sport size 3X, and it is just a super soft, really cute. I love this button detail at the, uh, at the top and at the pocket and will definitely look great under one of my cardigans. I tend to wear cardigans basically year round and always am looking for pieces like this. So I very well might keep this for me. Next up, we have a pair of Celebrity Pink. They look like Bermuda shorts. I don't wear a ton of shorts, so I will probably try them, um, but they will probably end up in my closet. They are size 22, and they're just, a, they're really, really soft denim, and they look like they do have some stretch to them. Yeah, they definitely have some nice stretch to them. I don't know if you can see that. So they would be extremely comfortable and a, a great length. I told her that I'm not much of a short wear, that no one wants to see that much of me. <laughs> and she said that she understands and that her shorts tended to be a Bermuda length. So they're a little bit um, um, more covering. So then next up we have, and by the way, she did say, I think that she did three mystery boxes that she packaged at the same time. And she did say, that she was just randomly picking. So these were not cherry picked for me. They were in her Poshmark closet and she just grabbed one of them. So if you want to head over to her Poshmark closet and buy a mystery box, she was pretty adamant that they would be comparable pieces to what she was sending to me. So she didn't even have one flag. She, like I said, she had, I think three of them that she boxed up and just said, if you'll buy one, I'll ship it out to you. And this is going to be what other people would expect to receive as well. So this is a long sleeve. I love this color, size 3X Lord & Taylor. And this is right up my alley. I am definitely a, Bryn can attest to it. And I think that you guys probably have seen most of my clothing tends to be solid colors. I know as resellers, we're always looking for something bold and unique and that photographs well and all of those things. And that is what resellers gravitate to. And I totally understand that. I get that. But as far as me and definitely Bryn, Bryn's idea of a wild is like a pinstripe. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely playing, you know, graphic tees occasionally. And when I say graphic tees, it'll be like, you know, East Carolina University <laughs> or Smith and Wesson or, um, you know. NRA. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Maybe a little tractor supply company. <laughs> a uh, chicken. Formal <laughs> chicken, something like that. So. A pig, you know. Then we have another one of these, which is great. These will not be up for sale because I can already tell that I will love them. And you might see one of these in my next video. That's how much I love them. And they're really, really soft and nice and thin. Yeah, they'll be really nice for me. Then we have Charter Club size 22. And they are a pair of jeans. Just a really nice denim. They do look a little bit on the short side, but as I've mentioned to you before, I am not <laughs> tall. I, Bryn thinks that I'm about four foot 11, and I am not. I'm about, I used to be <laughs> five, seven and three quarters, and I think that the last time that I went and was measured, I was five, six and three quarters, so I've lost an inch already. And this time it's gonna be five, three and three quarters. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> okay, next up. Ooh, these feel great. Who do we have? JM Collection, size 24. Bernie, these. I don't know if they would fit you. They might be too big. But this is right up Bryn's alley. They are a really nice black, stretchy fabric. Those will be mine. Are they going to be long enough? Maybe. I'll try them. I think they will. They do look like they might be long enough. These are really nice. I like them. And they have the nice little too. gold detail there. That actually, we, we might fight over those, even though they may be slightly big for both of us. But they are... Um, Lane Bryant makes a pant called the Madison, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it's the same type of fabric. And it's great because it really doesn't wrinkle. The wrinkles, as soon as you wear them, within an hour of wearing them, the wrinkles fall right out. So you don't have to worry about ironing them. They're extremely comfortable. They're flattering. You don't have to worry about lines showing or <laughs> weird stuff happening. That, that's not good weird stuff <laughs> so that's this fabric <laughs> you can rest assured weird stuff will be happening <laughs> if you, you wear the Madison <laughs> love Janet love Janet okay TMI perhaps I don't know <laughs> it's out there now for the world to know I'm just wondering what kind of weird stuff you have going on when you don't wear those pants <laughs> listen lady it's been a rough week and a half <laughs> okay and my last item is royalty for me and they are another pair of these are really soft too these are not um weird stuff and weird stuff <laughs> <laughs> they are um a jean cut but they are a really soft cotton fabric now these oh here we go these are a size 24w i guess that i could have been showing the tags i don't think that i need to on these though I think we all know what the tags look like on these. So this is actually, I hate to say it, but I'm not sure that anything's gonna go up for sale except for maybe the shorts. Um, but all of this stuff I love, I'm really excited. And those are um, a little bit of a skinny leg, but not terrible. Um, you know, sometimes I'm a little weird about the skinny, the weird things happening, the weird things, things happening that people don't need to see or want to see, but, uh, but they're not, calf. they're not an extreme taper all the way down. What did you just say? I love that you now crack yourself up. <laughs> the weird stuff happening in your, on your calf. <laughs> yes. On the calf, on the said calf on the and said, the ankle, on the so, said ankle, <laughs> ankle. I, my, you have good ankles though. <laughs> oh, you don't. They're nice ankles. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one alone. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. So with that being said, Jamie, I love the box. Um, I do think that um, like Kristen D with the adoption fail, I got these items to resell and I think that they are a mystery box fail because I think that I will be keeping everything in the box. So I can't thank you enough for the new wardrobe pieces. I'm sure that you will see them on me soon. And guys, go check out Jamie's channel, AKA The Bag Lady. Again, I'll have her link down below and I'll also link her Poshmark closet so that you can go check out her Poshmark closet. Again, I think that there are one or two of these left in her closet and you should snag them because as far as reseller stuff goes, there are some really nice pieces and all of these pieces are in really nice condition. I'm not seeing um, a ton of wash wear. I'm not seeing any rips, stains, holes, anything like that. They're really nice pieces. So thank you very much and we will see you on our next video. And thanks for spending a little bit of your day with us. And thank you also for those that reached out that were missing our videos and missing us. That means the world to us. In fact, all week long, Bryn has been saying, we need to do a video, we need to do a video. And I'm like, I can't. <laughs> and um, she wakes up at three in the morning to 2.30 to three o'clock in the morning to head to work. And 
we are we have been seeing each other in the mornings so if that tells you anything about what my schedule has been like but thank you for being patient with us and we will um, see you we're probably going to do a few videos this weekend so that we can kind of so that we don't have those lags like we had the last week thank you thank you folks have a good night good night